Hello and welcome to another edition of Data Center Pulse. Today I'm going to kick off a brand new segment called the Chill Off. Now the Chill Off is a testing effort that we've actually got here in Silicon Valley that takes a bunch of cooling technologies and other technologies up the stack and tests them for efficiency. It puts those vendors side by side and actually sees how well they perform within data centers and density. Um, we did this last year in 2007 and 2008 and we tested a number of products. It was from APC and Liebert and Rital and Spraycool and IBM VET. Um, this we basically had taken and uh, run this test over a year and then we reported the results out at the Energy Summit for Silicon Valley Leadership Group, which we held in Santa Clara um, in June of 2008. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details here, but we did present out one chart. And the chart here was the results of all those cooling technologies. So as you can see within the chart, we start with, of course, the big black line is traditional crack units. Um, and they're operating, of course, the kilowatt per ton, what it takes to actually run it, and the density on the bottom axis. So you can see here that the efficiency basically starts to drop off at of 6 kilowatts with traditional crack unit stuff. Now, uh, Rital has a liquid cabinet, a water-based cabinet, and that cabinet was able to perform, uh, again, between the 4 and 10 kilowatts. It was really designed to be able to do high density, up to 30 kilowatts, so the lower density it wasn't performing as well. Um, then you go down and we've got Liebert and APC, uh, and they virtually tied within this from this metric. This is a one-dimensional view, but definitely they were able to, to perform relatively well, whether it was overhead or in-row or whether it was water or whether it was refrigerant. And then, of course, we've got the IBM VET rear door, which is all passive. So it's the fans of the servers actually forcing the heat through the actual heat exchanger door on the back of the unit. The door doesn't have any fans. And that one actually performed pretty well because there are no fans within it. Now, you're probably wondering why we're doing this through Data Center Pulse. Last year was a great success, and um, it is an independent test. That is the key here. Sun hosted the event, but it is through Silicon Valley Leadership Group, and they came to us and asked if we would go back and host this chill-off piece of it, or, or one of the data center demonstration projects. And we said we would, and we came up with the chill-off itself because we cared about the different uh, products within the data center, and we wanted to find out ourselves which one would we deploy and why. Um, what were the efficiencies we should expect? And so this is a perfect venue for us to go back and now start to share this. So we signed up for Data Center, or for the actual Chill Off 2 this year, because we wanted to go and push the envelope a bit. Now, uh, who's involved with this? Of course, it's under the guise of Silicon Valley Leadership Group. They're, they're heading the whole thing. Then you've got Lawrence Berkeley National Labs, who's actually doing the testing. They're the independent body. They don't care which vendor wins. They just report the information that they find. The CEC, which is the California Energy Commission, they had gone back and actually funded last year. They're probably going to be funding this year. Of course, Data Center Pulse, because we care about this independent test and its results. And a whole host of other vendors, people that are participating within this. So let me share with you some of those vendors. It's APC again, Emerson, Liebert, Clustered Systems, IBM VET, Canur, uh, Future Facilities, Sun, of course, eBay, Server Technology, SynapseSense, Rital. Those are the people that are participating within the test itself. Then we've got testing support. Redwood City Electric is going to help us with the electrical distribution. Uh, we've got Western Ally doing the mechanical services. Of course, Lawrence Berkeley National Labs doing the actual testing itself. Power Assure is going to be jumping in and doing the server characterization within this. Um, on top of this, we also added another layer this year of reviewers. We wanted to go back and get some people that were pretty respected in the industry and have them take a look at what's going to be tested and then, of course, what's actually tested and the results from there. So we've got Christian Bellotti from Microsoft who's going to be doing that function. We also have Mukesh Qatar from Oracle. And we have Mark Heidemann from Taylor Engineering. Uh, three folks that really bring a good flavor into this as far as what we're testing, why we're testing it, and exactly do those results really represent what was found within that. And, of course, the sponsors that you've heard from there. Um, now, last year we tested the cooling efficiency within that. So let me tell you what we're going to do within the Chill Off 2. This is a stack that it created around the effort because it was getting so complex with all these different vendors uh, and who was going to be playing in it. On the bottom, you've got the cooling solutions. So we put them into three categories. The first is enclosed, enclosed forced air, so fans and fanless. This is going to be a sun container. We also have the Canura Cool Therm, Rital's uh, LCP Plus, and the Canura Cool Loop. Those products basically are con contained within their own box and they've got their cooling solution, they're all really uh, sealed. We want to test the products with the servers having fans in them, 
but then we also want for most of them to take out the fans and the servers and let the fans and the cooling devices within those enclosed units actually run it and see how well they operate. The next one is the open forced air. So this is the APC hot aisle containment. You've got larger boxes. You've got the Liebert XD, XDH, XDV, etc. And then the Kernera cool loop. Again, you can have another same type of containment. Cold, uh, cold, cold aisle versus hot aisle, that type of thing. Um, and then passive. Uh, we want to basically we take the rear doors. So IBM has a rear door. There's a couple things coming out from Sun. We're going to be testing in that as well. And then, of course, Clustered Systems, which is a startup company here in Silicon Valley uh, that's using a cold plate technology. No fans in the servers and all at high density. The thing that we wanted to find out and the thing we wanted to do was last year, if you saw that chart, we were able to get up to 11 kilowatts a cabinet. That's not good enough. We want to get to 30 kilowatts a cabinet because that's really what's coming. And we want to see how well these, these technologies perform within that.